Welcome back neighbors to the kitchen. This week, I've been craving some Panda Express. It's been a while since I've had some takeout Chinese. You're in line and you're thinking, should I go full chow mein or half chow mein and then half fried rice? And then what are the two dishes you go with? For me, of course, orange chicken is the default. And then I like to either go with the black pepper chicken or I like to go with broccoli and beef. You saw the name of the video today. I'm going with broccoli and beef. Let me show you how to make it at home. Get that nice velveted beef. We're gonna stir fry it and get it over some smooth rice. This one is a pleasure dish. Eat it and feel pleasurable. Okay, it sounds kind of weird, but you get my drift. start off with our beef I'm gonna use 300 grams that's around a 10 ounce you can use a New York steak cut or another cut of sirloin or chuck all of that works so let's get nice thin strips something like that yep oh man and a popular technique in Chinese cooking is velveting your protein whether it's shrimp chicken or beef. Uh, in velveting, we're gonna use an egg white along with some starch powder, and that's gonna tenderize the meat in the beginning. And then when you cook it, it, there's a small little layer around it. That way, when you stir fry it, the meat stays juicy on the inside, and it also stays very tender so that your grandpa, Hang Hang, can eat it. Velveting, we don't really use this technique in Korean cooking. Egg white only, that way it doesn't change the color of the meat. And then two tablespoons of starch powder. You can use corn. I'm using potato. That's one and two, good. A few cracks of black pepper, one, two, three. Then just quickly mix this up so that it combines. It should turn milky. You know, during my teenage years when I like had very long spiky hair, this would have been perfect. <laughs> then we're gonna need some vegetable oil. Don't use olive oil, just regular we're gonna add in three tablespoons, but I want you to add in one tablespoon at a time. Mix it in, number two, and then the final. And now we're gonna add in the meat pieces. Get in there with your hands, get all of that ranch dressing over it, and then we're gonna let that tenderize for about 20 minutes. And golly. Neighbors, if you're living in Asia, you're going through a torrential downpour. It's been like this for the last two weeks. Ooh, we have a little bit of thunder. Hang in there, guys. We have at least two more weeks of this um, hole in the sky. Then, of course, our broccoli. Mine has grown some sideburns. Let's get that off. Let's use a one-to-one -one ratio. So just eyeball however much meat you have. And then let's use an equal amount. You know what? Why not use the whole thing? Now, this stem is actually very delicious. I like to cut it into small pieces. All right. Simply cut the florets into smaller. We don't want our grandpa to choke. Get them into smaller pieces. Looks good. Not too small or grandpa is going to ask for his money back. All right, I think that's plenty. So just fill a pot with water, bring it up to boil. Once water comes to a boil, we'll add in. And let's give it one minute. All right, that's one minute. We'll take this out, empty this through. Then immediately cool in cold water. I never have ice cubes available in my freezer, but uh, ice cold bath will work just as fine. Just put it to the side so it drips off excess water and we're gonna make our marinade sauce. Let's start off with one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna do one teaspoon, that small tea, of oyster sauce. And then we're gonna use some chicken stock broth powder. This is like one of those uh, key flavor ingredients. Half a teaspoon, small tea. And since we're not adding any salt, this is gonna add that top layer saltiness, but of course with, uh, with, with deep flavor. If you visit China and you have food at the street stalls, a lot of stir fries, they're adding uh, this chicken stock powder. All right, we gotta dilute that a little bit. Let's add three tablespoons of water. That's one, that's number three. Get a good amount of oil. All right, that's good. All right guys, let's get this on a medium high heat and then let's cook our beef. You can put each piece in. Try your best to separate them. Then make sure to flip it. 
some are sticking. It's all right. Break them up. All right, this looks great. And of course, we're not going to use all this oil. Pick out the pieces and put onto a plate. Now, if you take a look at the meat, they have like a small layer of coating and that's going to stir fry in the sauce while keeping the meat very, very uh, tender. So pour out that oil and wipe it out. We don't need that much oil when we actually make this dish. We only need two teaspoons of oil. It's one, two, then a half teaspoon of minced garlic, and then a half teaspoon of minced ginger. Get this on a medium high heat. Let's add in our broccoli, and then our beef, and then our sauce. And then we just mix everything up. Mix it around. Wow. And then I have some starch powder, two to one ratio. We just add a little bit. Mix it up so it turns into like a gravy. Beautiful. Beautiful. We've got a little bit of sauce. Pull out some fresh rice. Uh-huh. Yep. Get every little real estate. Let's hit it with a little bit of sesame seeds on top. And that, my friends, is beef and broccoli. All right, guys, let's go close up. Let's take a look at, oh no, it's running away. Oh my gosh, you see this? Beautiful. Match it up with some broccoli. Oh, oh my God. That is amazing. Broccoli is perfectly cooked. It has its crunch still. Mm. And the meat, guys, it just melts in your mouth. Grandpa is gonna be very happy. And it has a lot of sauce on top. Take another bite. Katie, no more my song. Katie, this is broccoli and beef, a college staple that I had. Yeah. But now I made it so much better. Just taste the sauce. It's not even salty. And I'm telling you. Anyway, just I. Oh my gosh, this is much better than the holy chow. Ah, yeah, yeah. In Korea, we um, before Panda Express, we have one called holy chow. Neighbors, what did you think? Pretty easy, right? Some beef, some broccoli, go to the market, pick it up. And don't forget about that chicken stock powder. That one is the key flavor uh, variable in our recipe here. So if you whip it up at home, don't forget to take a picture on Instagram and tag us. You know, when we wake up in the mornings, what we love to do, just scroll through all the tagged photos. And we just love seeing pictures of, of your cooking. It makes us really happy.